hello friends how are you so i hope you all are doing great great with your health great with your studies and you people need to take a lot of care as this covid situation is not looking good at the moment so guys stay safe stay inside your home until and unless it is very important to go out and just take a good care of your health okay guys so we were discussing about the rtp may 2021 the attempt is quite nearing so we have question number five on cost sheet this question now on the cost sheet this is from your ici study material and this question is newly added in the may 2021 module right so this question is directly from your icai module this is from your icai study mat so all those who have already subscribed to my ICI study material question discussion series, which is available, all the lectures in which we have discussed questions available on the mobile app and the website. So even if they will not listen to this lecture, because I have covered all the latest amendments in that course, right? So this question is from ICI study mat only. I have discussed this question in detail that where is the contradiction? Uh, there are points which are contradictory according to uh, my viewpoint and according to what ICI has given. And I will give you the logic behind that uh, contradiction, right? So we'll discuss all this thing. Uh, I'm going to discuss here also. So all those who have already done that, no need to worry about it. You have already covered in, uh, in the ICI SM series, right? So you can go from that. Right, sir. Let's read it. RTA Limited has the following expenditure for the year to uh, year ended 31st of December 2020. Now, you are given the various list of expenditures like the raw material purchased, freight inward, wages paid and so on. So a lot of these things are given. And let's see what is the requirement. He says from the above data, you are request, uh, required to requested to prepare Statement of cost for RTA Limited for the year ended 31st December 20 showing the prime cost, factory cost, cost of production, cost of goods sold and cost of sales, right? Basically what he is asking for is he is asking for the complete cost sheet, sir, because these are the only parameters that we use, right? So he is asking you, you to make the cost sheet, isn't it? Yes, sir. So what we are going to do in this is we are going to write in front of every expenditure, I'm going to give you that under which head this expenditure will fall, right? So I'm going to give you the base. Starting with raw material purchase, it will form the part of your raw material consumption, direct material cost, I can say, right? It is your direct material cost. Now freight inward. Sir, what about the freight inward? Will it be your factory overheads or will it be your material cost? What is it is going to be? See, I have always told you that any expenditure from the moment you order the raw material until the moment that raw material reaches your factory, all the expenditures in between these two events, all will be your direct cost and it will be included in the direct material cost. This is what I told you in the material costing chapter also. Okay, so this will uh, form the part of my direct material cost. Clear? Wages paid to factory workers, sir, it is a direct labor cost. Royalty paid for production, royalty is paid for units, right? If I am uh, producing this much number of units, royalty is paid per unit, so this can be direct expense. Amount paid for power and fuel, sir, can you identify power and fuel in one unit of production? Say a machinery, it, is, it runs on electricity, it is consuming the power and on that machinery, you are making 100 units. Right. So can you identify that in making one unit, how much of electricity has been consumed? Can you identify it directly without using the absorption costing method? I am asking if you can identify it directly. No, sir. Right. So according to me, it should be factory overheads. Right. I'm writing it in the black, sir. Why? Because I'll tell you why. Moving on, job charges paid to job workers. This can be a form the part of your direct expenses. Why? Because say I am manufacturer, I am a manufacturer of t-shirts, right? And I am uh, getting these t-shirts done on the job work basis, and I am making the payment on the basis of per t-shirt, right? That if you will make 
100 t-shirts for me i will pay you 450 rupees per t-shirt so it is directly identifiable in one unit of the finished product the job charges are identifiable can be identifiable in one unit of finished product so we can take it as a part of direct expenses not direct material not direct labor but direct expenses right so it can be your direct cost right sir is that clear then stores and spares consumed this is your factory overheads depreciation on office building depreciation on office building what uh, where we have to take this depreciation on office building this is to be taken as journal administration overheads right not related to production if it is related to production then where we have to take it then we have to take it as factory overheads repair and maintenance paid for plant and machinery plant and machinery will be your factory overheads right sales office building it will be your selling and distribution overheads any doubt insurance premium paid for plant and machinery factory overheads factory building factory building sir again factory overheads factory building means that area where you are manufacturing the product where the manufacturing process is going on expenses paid for the quality control check in the activities as per the new format of the cost sheet where they uh, we have to take it we have to take it in the cost of production after the adjustment of wip after the works cost net works cost we have to take these expenses for quality control and activities while calculating cost of production research and development cost paid for improvement in the production process again cost of production expenses paid for pollution control and engineering maintenance again cost of production right okay i'll write this in black why i am going to write it in the black i'll tell you right cost of production moving on salary paid to sales and marketing managers sir simple selling and distribution overhead salary paid to general manager general administration overheads packing cost paid for primary packaging necessary to maintain the quality this will form the part of your cost of production that is after net works cost for redistribution of finished goods for redistribution of finished goods this will be selling and distribution fees paid to independent directors that is your journal administration overheads performance bonus paid to sales staff selling and distribution overheads value of stock as on 1st of january so this is all the adjustments this is your opening and this is your closing balances moving on amount realized by selling of scrap and waste generated during the manufacturing process is 48000 so this is the sale of scrap right it is to be adjusted from the cost of production because it is it has been generated during the manufacturing process now it is not directly a raw material that we are selling as a scrap if you are selling the raw material as a scrap then you will adjust that uh, uh, sale value of the scrap from the raw material consumption instead of cost of production right so you need to remember this thing right so scrap can be of two types what i am telling you is that if there is a scrap in the question now it can be of two types it can be directly raw material that raw material raw material is lying in the store and it got destroyed raw material hamara store mein pada tha aur kharab ho gaya theek hai usko humne as a scrap bech diya and the other thing is manufacturing process scrap arising from manufacturing process right if it is a raw material then it is to be adjusted from what it then it then it is to be adjusted from the raw material consumption from raw material consumption that is cost of direct raw material right then if it is from the manufacturing process then it is to be adjusted from cost of production right if the question is silent sir if we are not able to identify in the question that whether that scrap is related to raw material or whether it is related to the manufacturing process or the finished good then what we should do then give a note and do any of the treatments if you think it is related to raw material then get it from 
the raw material consumption if you think it is related to the manufacturing process then get it from the cost of production right so you need to be very careful while attempting the question now this is all what we uh, what i have told you from here what you have to do just make the cost sheet sir now i have marked two entries in black one is the amount paid for power and fuel and the other one is expenses paid for pollution control and engineering and maintenance right d the, uh, these two things i have marked in black why sir i will tell you why the first point that is amount paid for power and fuel now where is the contradiction with the ici material sir the ici material says that this power and fuel is your direct expense but i do not agree to this thing why sir i have already given you the reason for that sir power and fuel can you identify the amount of power and fuel directly in one unit of the finished product sir you cannot you cannot that is why i do not agree with the institute solution that it should be direct expense it should be a part of factory overheads now the question is sir what to do in the examination sir what to do in the examination in the examination my suggestion is the best way is to take it as factory overheads right if this question comes in the examination take it as a factory overheads and give a note to that effect that the amount of power and fuel that is power and fuel has been considered to be an indirect expense right and as uh, and as such been part of factory overheads clear see there is a very much logic behind this thing it cannot be a direct expense on a machinery which is running on uh, electricity which is consuming the power you are making hundreds or thousands of shirts or uh, the product on that machinery how can you identify that in making one unit how much of power or fuel has been consumed you cannot identify that sir clear so it cannot be a direct expense it has to be a factory overhead i don't know why institute is given it as a, as a direct expense so let's see if in the coming uh, versions they might change it or not i don't know okay second thing expenses paid for uh, pollution control and engineering and maintenance what institute has done is they have uh, given it in the factory overheads right sir it is not directly related to factory overheads so i will take it as a cost of production although it won't make much of a difference right even if you will take it as factory overheads it won't be wrong and even if you take it in the cost of production after the adjustment of wip even then it is going to be correct right but the logical thing says if you are taking the quality control expenses if you are taking the research and development expenses after the adjustment then why not pollution control and engineering maintenance expenses how it is directly related with the production no sir it is related with the overall process of production right so it should also be taken as a part of cost of production after the adjustment of wip okay now i'm going to show you what institute has done material consumed raw material purchased freight invert add opening stock less closing stock any doubts this is a very simple thing right a very simple thing sir nothing to worry about it so you will get the total cost of the material consumed then direct labor cost given direct expenses royalty paid for production amount of power and fuel now this is one area where i do not agree with the institute job charges paid to job workers okay sir i agree with that also right uh, works in factory overhead stores spares consumed repairs maintenance plant of machinery insurance insurance everything okay sir expenses paid for pollution control and engineering maintenance whereas these expenses according to me should be here after this factory cost right according to me these expenses should be here okay although moving these expenses from here or taking it here won't make much of a difference won't make much of a difference okay right sir then uh, gross factory cost add opening wip closing wip it is given to you quality control cost research development cost less realizable value of scrap and waste right this is one point that i told you re uh, relating to the scrap fine sir clear add primary packing cost 
so they have added the primary packing cost in the cost of production right absolutely correct right it makes sense it should be like this only okay cost of production add opening uh, fg closing fg you will get the cost of goods sold right then administration overheads this is the journal administration overheads if any administration overheads are related to production then they should be added here right but because in the question there are no administration overheads which are related to the production so all the administration overheads are treated as journal these are journal administration overheads journal admin overheads right so i have already marked that then selling overheads selling and distribution overhead distribution overheads you are taking okay so all the things we have taken cost of sales we have got no need of writing the sales and the profit no need sir because uh, that is what the cost till the cost of sales it was required any doubts clear sir i hope this is clear so the two points those are very very important one is this expenses and the other one is amount paid for power and fuel which were in contradiction but this is a very good question i tell you from the examination point of view this is a very good question very good question and it can be asked and i told you this is your ici study mat question this has been a newly added question in the may 2021 module right in the ici sm series i have covered all the amendments all the new questions have been added in that course right whether you buy it from the mobile app or whether you buy it to play on the laptop from the website you will get all the questions a separate folder is there with the may 21 updations you will get all the questions in that series right so this is question number 5 cost sheet we are done with this rtp in the next lecture we'll do the next question on cost accounting systems right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much